Hi and welcome to this video which is going to detail some of the new changes in Raya Pro 4. One of the first things you might notice is that I've removed all of the titles from the panels apart from Raya Pro 4 the hub and that's so that we could make most of the panels smaller than the original panels from Raya Pro 3. That isn't always the case like for example in Instamask that's roughly the same size because I've added a couple of new functions but overall most panels are a little bit smaller so that takes up less space on your monitor. Next, in the Raya Pro Hub, I've added a button called Open Stack. And this allows us, if we open it up, to open the files that we want to work with so we can work with multiple files. We can open them, and then if they're raw files, Adobe Camera Raw can open. You can do whatever adjustments you want to do in Adobe Camera Raw. And when they open up in Photoshop, they will automatically stack as layers like the ones you see here. So we've got two layers and originally they were two separate exposures. Previously in Raya Pro 3 we would have to open up the files manually and then press the stack button here. So I've combined those two functions. I've also brought back some previous functions which turned out were very popular. I didn't realize many people used them. So the first one is reveal dust and this will show you if you have any sensor dust in your image. Now in order to do this you can't work on a smart object. So you'll have to go to a dodge and burn panel and click on the button that says merge. You see this one here? And that will create a new layer and all you do is press reveal dust. And now when we zoom in we can see all the sensor dust that was hidden previously. So there's some here in the window, there's some to the right here and you can see the before and after there. This doesn't reveal the sensor dust for you, you have to do it yourself. So when you've done that you can delete the reveal sensor dust layer by pressing delete layer up here and then with this stamped layer you can simply choose the clone tool or choose the patch tool and select it and remove the dust. I've also brought back the old detail enhance button which was very popular in Raya Pro 2. Again I didn't realize that because this is a much slower way of enhancing detail in Photoshop but it is very effective as well. So they're both in the filters panel. Now with Instamask, I've made things a little bit quicker here. Previously, if we wanted to use luminosity masks, so let me make this dark layer invisible, we would create a mask, let's say brights one. And then we could adjust the mask. So I'm just gonna select the window here. And when we're happy with the mask, we would have to then press select. This is to paint in the luminosity mask. Then we press black mask, show layer so the layer was visible then we would hide the marching ants then we would press brush so I would choose a white brush and probably a large brush so you see all the buttons we have to press to get to that point and then we could start painting in the mask so I decided it would be a lot easier if I just combined all those functions so let me show you what I mean if I delete the mask here make the layer invisible again and we'll create the exact same mask more or less so I'm just trying to select the window there. And now I want to make a selection of this mask, but I also want a black mask put on this darker exposure. So because I'm putting a dark mask on this exposure, that means I need to select a white brush. So where you see select here, to the right, we have select white and select black. So select white means select white brush, select black means select black brush. So if we choose select white, that means it's going to put a black mask on our layer which is below Instamask. So if I press select white, you see it's done all of that really quickly, one button and we can immediately start painting. So it's a lot quicker than the previous way of doing it. But instead if you wanted to use select black, that means we'd have to put a white mask on the darker exposure. So to do that, I'm going to choose D1, so darks one. And then I'm gonna black out some of that window, choose select black, so now it's a, a black brush and a white mask. And look, I can remove some of this darker exposure. So you know we're bringing through the brighter exposure. And I can do that a few more times to exaggerate the effect. So you see we're bringing through the brighter exposure each time. So those are two new useful functions in Instamask. And I also fixed a bug with the live button. So when you're working in Instamask and you want to see how a mask will look, you can press, let's say, brights one, just as we've done before. 
refine the mask again. And then we can select the darker exposure because we want to see what this mask looks like when we press live. So we press live now. And now we have a split screen. So I can make this a little bit smaller and that one too. And this is what our mask looks like and this is what the final effect looks like. So the great thing about the sliders here is that I can move the sliders and you see it changes what the live version does. So watch, if I make this a really extreme change, you see how it affected the one on the right, the live version. And if I move it back, you see it corrects it. And when we've made these changes, if we're happy with them, all we need to do now is choose our dark exposure and press apply. And there we've blended the exposures. We're going to close this window manually. And there you go. Finally, I also fixed a bug in Raya Pro where people had difficulty changing the interface of Photoshop. So when they changed the interface, the text disappeared, but now the text should stay the same. So you see the tutorial text is still visible and so, are the, so is the text around here. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy the new Raya Pro.